We'll be spread thin until the rest of our forces return from the Arbor Wilds. Of course. All right. Inquisitor, thank the Maker you're here. Morrigan chased after her son into the Illuvian. She was terrified. She was chasing Kirin? She said he activated the mirror somehow, and then she ran into it. I've never seen Morrigan like that. You must go after her. I will... Wait, this isn't the crossroads. This is the Fade. How did the Alluvian lead here? Can it go anywhere? Huh. Morrigan! Go back. I must find Kieran before it's too late. Why would Kieran do this? How could he do this? We stand in the Fade. To direct the Illuvian here would require immense power. If he is lost to me now after all I have sacrificed... We'll find him, Morrigan. He can't be far. The Fade is infinite. He could literally be anywhere. Whatever happens to him now, it is my doing. I set him on this path. Please, help me look, Inquisitor. Just a little longer. with him. That's... Mother! Mother. Now, isn't this a surprise? So this is all some kind of family reunion? <laughs> Mother, daughter, grandson. It rather warms the heart, does it not? Kirin is not your grandson. Let him go. As if I were holding the boy hostage. She's always been ungrateful, you see. Ungrateful? I know how you plan to extend your life, wicked crone. You will not have me, and you will not have my son. Oh, be a good lad and restrain her. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Of course you know. You drank from the well, did you not? <gasps> you... Armathal. You can't be Mathal. That's not possible. <laughs> 
Explain to me, dear boy, why I cannot be what I am. I'm supposed to believe that you're some kind of god. Clearly not the sort you had in mind, hmm? I'm sorry, Mother. I heard her calling to me. She said now was the time. I do not understand. Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mythol through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mythol inside you? She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. What do the voices tell you? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mythal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald indeed, shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. I know the name Flemeth. It belongs to an ancient Ferelden legend. It says, long ago, you left your husband for a lover. Your husband then tricked you, killed your lover, and imprisoned you. Then a spirit came to offer you vengeance. Mythal, that's what you spoke of. One day, someone will summarize the terrible events of your life so quickly. But yes, I was that woman. That is how my tale began. Flemeth appears in other legends helping heroes for reasons of her own. I nudge history when it's required. Other times, a shove is needed. <laughs> if Mythal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves, to everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mythal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth. And I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged. Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. So must I serve you now, because I drank from the well? Is that how you see yourself? A servant? I have no commands for you. Not yet. Then what is it you want? One thing, and one thing only. I have to go now, Mother. No. I will not allow it. He carries a piece of what once was, snatched from the jaws of darkness. You know this. He is not your pawn, Mother. I will not let you use him! Have you not used him? Was that not your purpose, the reason you agreed to his creation? That was them. Now he... He is my son. Flemeth extends her life by possessing the bodies of her daughters, Inquisitor. That was the fate she intended for me. I thwarted her, and now she intends to have Kieran instead. Wait, 
The way she talked about Kieran. I am not the only one carrying the soul of a being long thought lost. He is more than that, Mother. As am I. Yet do you hear me complain? Our destinies are not so easily avoided, dear girl. Mother, I have to. You do not belong to her, Kieran. Neither of us do. If Kieran is so special, why did you wait until now to come for him? I did not know where he was. Morrigan cleverly hid him from me. Until now. <gasps> it was the well. Be thankful you did not drink. Imagine, bound to your dear mother for eternity. <laughs> Whatever else you think he is, Kieran is still a child. And so much better behaved than his mother was at his age. Kieran, I... As you wish, hear my proposal, dear girl. Let me take the lad, and you are free of me forever. I will never interfere with or harm you again. Or... Keep the lad with you, and you will never be safe from me. I will have my due. He returns with me. Decided so quickly. Do whatever you wish. Take over my body now if you must, but Kieran will be free of your clutches. I am many things, but I will not be the mother you were to me. Dreams? No more dreams. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. As for you, Inquisitor, there is an ancient altar deep within a shaded wood. Go to it. Summon the dragon that is its guardian. Master it in combat? And it is yours to command against Corypheus. Fail and die. Wait! Are you all right, Kieran? You are not hurt. I feel lonely. She wanted the old god soul all along. Is it worth reminding myself that perhaps I do not know everything after all? My mother has the soul of an elven goddess, or whatever Mithal truly was, and her plans are unknown to me. So Kirin had the soul of an old god? Taken from the archdemon at the final battle of the Fifth Blight. Yes, he has never known anything else. I'm uncertain what effect this will have on him. But why did you...? I told you at the temple, the magic of old must be preserved. No matter how feared. Kieran had a destiny, and now... it is in Flemeth's hands. 
I suppose we shall see what she does with it. You truly had no idea what she was. I knew she kept the truth from me. I even suspected she was not truly human, but this... I always thought the so-called elven gods were little more than glorified rulers, but now... I have doubt. And doubt is... an uncomfortable thing, Inquisitor. I suppose I should be thankful you drank from the well. Eternal servitude to Mother would not be my first choice. For what it's worth, I think you did the right thing. Did I? She was testing me. And I cannot tell whether I passed. Mother said you must summon a dragon at an ancient altar. Do you know where that is? I think so. It's a place dedicated to Mithal. As, no doubt, is the Guardian you must battle. Pray my mother has not led you astray, Inquisitor. She is not above doing so for her own amusement. Mother must be very pleased. The Herald of Andraste, leader of the Inquisition, at her personal beck and call. I feel certain what happened at the Temple of Mathal must somehow have been her influence. Perhaps she's influenced more than just what happened at the Temple. With Corypheus, you mean? He does have that elven orb. Which he had to acquire somewhere. Yes, I see. It's hard to imagine her motivation for doing so. Then again, everything about her is hard to imagine. I suppose we have little choice but to proceed and be thankful she assisted us at all. Do you trust what Flemeth told us? About what she is? I... I am uncertain. I knew there was more to her than I realized that she was not truly human. This? I once found her grimoire, and that was where I learned her immortality was gained by stealing the bodies of her daughters. Flemeth claims I misunderstood. It is not forced on the unwilling. Meaning I might agree to such a thing? <sighs> Impossible, yet there seemed an undeniable sense of truth to the things she told us. All my years spent hunting for arcane mysteries, and the greatest was the one I left behind. So what do you intend to do now? Now? I will take Kieran and leave. Where I will go is uncertain. I must consider the fact that Flemeth may yet have plans for me. You are her servant, but I am her daughter. I doubt she will let me slip completely from her clutches. Whatever happens, I wish you well in the coming battle, Inquisitor. I'd like to know more about you. If you have questions, then ask. Friend. I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. Perhaps you could ask Sarah. She has opinions. You don't much care for Sarah, do you? I pity her. Although I imagine she would detest that. Perhaps in truth, I envy her. She has a purity of purpose that I lack. I have observed too much and done too little. What do you wish to know? I've heard tales that Dalish magic is different from the magic I learned in the Circle. No, and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water, but it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing Chantry approval, although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. The 
legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic in an unending symphony. It must have been beautiful. You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. I'd be interested in learning more about blood magic. I would teach you if I knew it. Unfortunately, using blood magic seems to make it more difficult to enter the Fade. You understand why I never bothered to learn it. A shame, as it is extremely powerful. Provided it remains a tool, not a crutch, nor a passion. I'd like to know more about the Elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvanan was the Empire, and Arlathan its greatest city. A place of magic and beauty, lost to time. You've studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees, and imagine wooden ramps or Dalish aravels. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches, palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who lived forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. What can you tell me about elves living in human cities? The culture in alienages or among the slaves of Tevinter is like any of the impoverished and powerless. They cling to memories of a better past and practice a few rituals to distinguish themselves from humans. I'd like to know more about Dalish elves. It is a mistake to think of the Dalish as a single group. They have lived as separate clans for centuries now. As a consequence, each clan has learned, interpreted, and forgotten different parts of elven history. Some trade freely with humans, or adopt city elves who flee the alienages. Others attack humans on sight. We'll talk later. Goodbye. It's here. I can feel it. Yes. I feel it as well. There it is. This is all that's left of the altar. We few who travel far, call to me and I will come, without mercy, without fear. Cry havoc in the moonlight. Let the fire of vengeance burn. The cause is clear. A very old invocation, perfectly translated. Strange that there wasn't an altar like this at Mithal's temple. The temple was a place of justice, but this is different. This was where the elves called to her, spoke to her. Then one day she disappeared and they had no one to speak to. You want us to piss off so you can get to it? No. Definitely stay. I'm here, Flemeth. Just as you told me. 
If I must master a dragon to fight Corypheus, then send it. Yes. I feel it as well. You sure? There aren't any runes in these parts. I'm sure. It's here. Just keep an eye out. There it is. A very old invocation.
That was impressive. It will come when I summon it. Once. That's enough to fight Corypheus, however. I have my dragon. All you need now is Corypheus and BAM! Dragon fight! work. Did you find what you need, Inquisitor? I certainly hope so. Then all that remains is to find Corypheus before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the Deep Roads? We could send word to Orzammar, a higher envoys to... He did that? But why? Either I close the breach again, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. I must go now, before it's too late.
tell me. Where is your maker now? Call him. Call down his wrath upon me. You cannot, for he does not exist. I am Corypheus. I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger. Bow before your new god and be spared. Never! As It ends here, Corypheus. And so it shall. successful in foiling my plans, but let us not forget what you are. A thief in the wrong place at the wrong time, an interloper, a gnat. We shall prove here, once and for all, which of us is worthy of godhood. I'm the Maker's Chosen. Dragon, how clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will. I will not stand for this outrage. Stand for this outrage. You think to best me with your feeble magics? You are nothing. All you love will be ground under the Imperium's heel. As you wish. Enough! 
I will destroy you where you stand. Is this ragged mage another ally? One more rat has emerged from the...
Let it end here! Let the skies boil! Let the world be rent asunder! No, I will not allow you this victory. You and all the heathen barbarians shall burn. She's getting bigger! And then the fate swallows the world, right? And all the heathen barbarians shall burn. have walked the halls of the Golden City, crossed the ages. Dumat, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. Solus, the orb. Are you sure? We could take the pieces, try to... That would not recover what has been lost. There's more, isn't there? It was not supposed to happen this way, no matter what comes. I want you to know you shall always have my respect. Inquisitor, are you alive? Then it's over. How lovely. And you survive. Thank the Maker. And the sky is healed, healthy, whole. 
There's just that left to remember. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold. A moment, my lord. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. It's odd that he would just leave without a word. You said he was upset about the orb. I can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. I don't see what the fuss is about. Corypheus needed to be stopped. And you are the one who stopped him. Previously, you were an upstart. A mage, of all things, leading rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Imagining it, or do we have a moment to breathe? <laughs> I can scarcely believe it. The Conclave, Haven, it seems so long ago. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks, the pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference, and that we will continue to do so. Our soldiers put their trust in you, Cullen. I appreciate everything you've done. I should be thanking you. You gave me a chance to... to prove myself. In your place, I'm not sure I would have done the same. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. 
I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. I'm thinking, this shit is weird. The Inquisitor Trevelyan story. What do you think? It's a working title. I'm glad you've gone back to writing. Well, nothing certain until it's in print. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. Don't divide your efforts. The people of the free marches are more important than a story. As it happens, I agree with you. Kirkwall is in bad shape, and a lot of other city-states were hit hard by the war. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. All this pomp and ceremony? Can't top seeing that bastard Corypheus burn. No matter what happens to me now, I can say I was there. I helped you bring him down. It took all of us, but we did it. I shudder to think where we'd be without you leading us. So now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? It'll be a huge undertaking. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. So, demons, dragons, giant asshole vint on a big magic rock. You don't let it get dull, boss. Good stuff. You helped make it possible, Bull. That's what they pay me for. <laughs> it's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrat and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. Got anywhere in mind? If it's all the same with you, I'm pretty good right here. Anyway, the only place I'm going tonight is back for more drinks. To us being alive, and the bad guy's not. Ah, Anan. So many people died. More still are hurting. They need help. It seems wrong to celebrate. But... I want to. The part of me that's me needs to, after all this. The servants are drinking. Some of them are drinking while lying down. Do you have any interest in joining them? I don't know. Not now. It makes things more complicated, and I'm not ready. Someday. Maybe. What happens next? Where do we go? For tonight, we remind the world and each other that we're alive. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andras Deus Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for... You know, everything ever again. I mean... Is this for us, or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there, and I still don't know what's real. Let the philosophers worry about that. Tonight is for celebrating. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Rio. That's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? Or whatever? This is home, if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you. I cry. I'm punching everyone. All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning! Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. Ugh, oh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. 
I hope you're not just saying that. You're not, are you? What a disaster. It was so many minutes late. The invitation to our guests barely went out at all. And, and it was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Thedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. I was passing through the hall this morning, and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. That's what happens when you're a hero. Is that so? Must be why it's so unfamiliar. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. You're an example of how noble Tevinter could be. For Southerners, maybe. Back home, they'll be rolling their eyes behind their fans. Meanwhile, they'll conveniently forget the bastards who wanted Corypheus ruling us all. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. You will. Tevinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry? Build the Inquisition from nothing? Defeat a creature that would be a god? And yet here we are, celebrating. What's important is that you're here with me. There was a moment after the orb exploded. I thought for certain you were dead. I prayed. Don't take him from me, not after all we've been through. And then I saw you through the smoke. Sometimes the Maker is kind. I have news from the Sequester. I believe the Chantry intends to name me Divine very soon. If that happens, I have decided to accept. I wanted you to know. It hasn't happened yet. That's true. We still have time. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand, the Chosen of Andraste, proven in the eyes of all Thedas. And you are the man I love. How did that happen, I wonder? Know that I will always stand with you. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. I love tiny cakes, and there are so many. Which should I try first? I would avoid the dark ones topped with gold dust. Deep mushroom and anise. An awful combination, but it's quite popular in Val Royale. I believe they call it the exquisite misery. Ole. Why did we save her again? To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. So much to do, my dear. Elections for Grand Enchanter must be held, and many of the circles lack even interim First Enchanters. It will take time, and it may not be possible to restore the history that was lost, but we will reinstate the circles. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. As a matter of fact, I am. This is all for you, darling. Enjoy yourself. You've earned it. Go mingle. The night is still young. A moment before you go. There's something else I wanted to say. You know the crisis is over, right?
What's this about? Everything is about to change. I could be named Divine any day now. You will be pulled in a hundred different directions. Cassandra. No, it's fine. I simply wanted to steal a moment while I still can. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against Chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, but a new war rages in the shadows. Gaspar, it seems, has learned his lesson well. Even the elves have no rest, with Briala's uprising rocking the empire to its core. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Hawk is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Cassandra as successor to the Sunburst throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she immediately enacts reform, a new Templar order, and a new circle of Magi. The Seekers of Truth are rededicated to their purpose of protecting the innocent. A proclamation of support for the Inquisition is issued, recognizing its service to all of Thedas. Despite her popularity, the new Divine's reforms are seen by some as going too far. A new sect arises, demanding a return to the status quo on threat of war. With the Inquisitor's assistance, negotiations end peacefully, and few concessions are made. Strength and unity within the Chantry are restored in the months following. A golden age, if it can last. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. In the end, they refuse Cassandra's invitation to rejoin the Circle of Magi and instead reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow Mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. From the beginning, the College and the Circle have clashed, and some fear it will lead to a new war of the Mages upon themselves. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its military might has grown, now rivaling that of kingdoms. Fear of the Inquisition's army has become the true source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready.
I knew you would come. You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Dread Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well, old friend. Let's see what we have. 